Hey guys, and welcome back to a, another demo. All right, again, I am Happy Teach. Um, and one of the things that came up in the discussion board was a question of how do I upload my work or show my work on Behance? So here we are, this is Behance, this is what you're gonna see. There are several ways to do the same thing on here, um, but what gets confusing is there's two ways to uh, show it. Immediately when you're here, you see this big plus. And what this does is if you click it, it's gonna show your work to the entire Behance community, which is awesome. And, you know, so you get feedback, you know, it goes through the cycle, everyone sees it, you get likes, um, but it's only up for 24 hours, okay? So this is one way, and then you can share it um, out um, for other people to see and things like that. So this is what you're gonna get, the ad image here, okay? Now, if you um, go over here to the right, you're going to see a share your work icon. And up here is going to give you three ways to share your work. One is the way that we're going to share it, which is going to be to create a project. Um, that's going to go on your, um, on, inside of your Behance space, um, you know, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then there's the work in progress, which we just saw that we could do over there with the plus. It's the same exact thing. Um, it's going to go out for pretty much the whole Behance community uh, to see it in Adobe will push it. Um, and then live stream, which is so cool. I think everyone has this option. Um, and it's where you can, before you had to ask permission, that's why I say I think. Um, but it's where you can live stream your work from your project to the whole Behance community. So you could do your own like live streams, your own, you know, showing people how to do a pro. Uh, process or showing people what your process was for doing it so it's really really cool um, feature that we have but what we're going to do again is project but I also want to show you just in case you're um, you know going around your site and you don't see that option there you're like oh my goodness where is it it's not here with the blue plus it's not here with a share if you happen to be in your profiles let me go ahead and click on mine then yours might look like this then you want to go down here to create project and that's the other spot that it's going to be in okay so i wanted to make sure i showed you that um you can pretty much access it pretty much from anywhere all right so i'm gonna go up we can go ahead and create project from here so i'm gonna click create project and then you're gonna be um taken to the screen where you see all these tools and everything that you can set up that's like wow what do i do this is so great right so you can import an image, text, you can make a photo grid, which are pretty cool, um, video, audio, you can embed like videos and stuff in your project, like if you have YouTube and you have, um, you can embed that in, um, stuff from Lightroom, NFTs, prototypes, and 3D objects, all that you can import in here, which is pretty cool. But this is your portfolio space, right? This is where um, you're showing all of your work. So over here is another way to do the same exact thing, right? Over here are your images. And then down here is how you edit the project where you change the style uh, of the background that is, you know, in. You can change the settings. Um, you can attach files and things. So I'm just going to go ahead and focus on image or on adding an image. Um, it's going to bring me to my downloads. And what I'm going to go to, because I know I have some images in here, uh, that I can use. I'm going to grab one. There we go. You guys know that one that's inside of our thing. So I'm going to grab this one. And um, if I was happy with this one, I can do multiple ones. I could have grabbed three or four images, you know, multiple ones at a time. I think 10 at a time um, could be more, uh, could be less, but um, I'll bring in the images. And then when I'm happy with it, um, if I'm good with everything, I'm just going to hit continue. But if I'm not ready, I can hit save as a draft to come back to it later. Like if something comes up and I got to come back to it, I can save it as a draft and I'll have it. But I can also view a preview of it. So I'm going to give you a preview real quick. That's what it looks like. If I'm happy with that, that's great. I'm going to close that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose um, continue. And then here's where I get to tell 
people hey about my image what it is what am i uploading so i can title it here i can put tags in tags are awesome that's how people find you so if you're searching for graphic design you know you would make the tag and your stuff might come up it just depends um the tools used i can say you know i used um illustrator you know or um express whatever i use to create it how would i categorize my project i'll categorize it do I want this visibility to everyone or do I want it private, you know, where that way people only who have a link or whatever can see it or only I can see it. Um, copyright licenses, blah, blah, blah. OK, and then when I'm done, I will hit publish and it's going to publish it out um, and you'll see it inside of your space. So if we were to go back, I'm going to go back to my uh, profile then what's going to happen is it'll show up down here. I'll start to see the projects that I create um, populate. As a matter of fact, I'll show you my other um, site. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, so it'll populate and you'll see the other work um, down in the bottom like that. So hopefully that was helpful to you. Hopefully now you can... Go ahead and upload your work and you feel confident about it. Um, if it helped you, let me know. You know, you can like the video if you liked it or um, uh, send me a, a, a comment um, so that I know. Um, otherwise, that is it for now. Um, see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now.